Hello, Klaus here with a quick video. In this video, we're just going to have a look at the new update for DaVinci Resolve, the public beta 5. And we are going to download it and have a look at some of the new features inside of the beta. So let's download the beta and get started. So first off, a lot of the new changes are evolving around the cut page. And I'm not using the cut page that much, but I'll just run through some of them anyways. There is like a multi-view overlay available. The cut page timeline now shows render activity. That meaning if you're having a clip, they're going to be a red line and you can see where in the render process that is, which is kind of cool. Also new is that you can go up in the inspector and up here you can change to the audio settings and we can then add in audio stuff. Also now available, I'll just go to the edit page, do some cuts here, taking out parts and stuff like that. And we're going to take these clips and we are just going to make this into a new compound clip. We're going to nest it like so. Go up to the media pool and I have my clip here. So if I right click here, I can actually go up to my compound clip. I can actually do a auto transcription just by transcribing whatever there's being said in the piece of video, which is kind of cool. You can do that with nested clips. So if you have a edit and you have done that into a nested clip, you will now have a transcription of what is being said and all of that, which is kind of cool. Also, there has been a change to the film look creator. So I'm just going to take this clip right here and I'm going to jump into the color page. And in the color page, I'm just going to control S to add a new note. And I'm just going to search for film look. Um, I have the film look creator. I'm going to add that in here. So in the film look creator, we do have some different stock emulations. Now we have here a cinematic look, a brochure look, Alaska and elated. And we have a vintage look and we can change in. I mean, this is skin BS, but we can change in the look there. So that is kind of cool. And then we could add in these film gate stuff, which have been there before. So we could do something like this now, which is a quick way of making a look. And for the Windows users, DaVinci Resolve is now three times faster with the AI if you are using an Intel Windows system, which is kind of nice. So overall, this is a great update to the beta five if you are using the cut page because it has a lot of updates and improvements for that particular page. And again, I just like the updates. So it has some good things. For instance, this with the film emulator is kind of cool. If you want to have the full list of the update, you can go to Blackmagic's homepage under the forum on the DaVinci Resolve. And there, there is a note for the beta five with all of the updates listed. So go check that out. And um, anyway, that's all for this short little video. I do hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.